Ladies and gentlemen of Bachelor Nation, we have a very important announcement that we are going to make tonight. Now, this isn't something you're going to find on the 538 blog mm -mm. by Nate Silver, nope. but we are knee deep in the middle of primary <laughs> season where contestants are starting to run their own campaigns to become Bachelor in 2018. That's right. We got Bachelor Paradise right now. That's right. Uh, we got guys going ham on the Instagrams. Right. Ba if Bachelor in Paradise, that's going to be like the Super Tuesday yeah. for you uh, political junkies that's out right. there. That's right. That's uh, right. But tonight, our announcement comes courtesy of YouTube. Not CNN, not Fox News, but YouTube. And we're getting way ahead of the curve. I mean, some of the bigger stalwarts like Ellen yeah. and friggin' BuzzFeed probably yeah. won't announce their choices until the clear winner comes out. Right. But we're staking our claim right now. That's right. The official Two Bros and Some Brick pick for 2018 Bachelor is... Or are you just gonna build the hype with people more? It is Alex, baby. Yes! Alex from last season of Bachelorette. Full disclosure, we don't know how to pronounce his last name. <laughs> so we're just gonna call him Alex. That's right. Uh, but that doesn't mean we don't like him anymore. No, no, that's for sure. Uh, but if you haven't punched your ticket yet for Bachelor 2018, uh, take a look at these points why we think. He should be the next Bachelor. All right, so political campaigns, they usually have only about 30 seconds to get their point across, right? <laughs> yeah. But hey, yeah. we're on YouTube. <laughs> That's right, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is the benefit of us making our announcement here. Yeah. We can take our sweet ass time if we want to. <laughs> yeah. Just go over the points of Alex real quick. So yeah. let's, let's have you start us off. Well, uh, I can actually do this in just about one word, dude. Tell me. Uh, and that word is charisma. Ooh. Because you look back on Rachel's season, mm -hmm. and let's just go ahead and throw JoJo's season in the mix too, oh, right? Jesus, please and don't. And those crop of duds. Please don't make me think about them. <laughs> God damn it. Who in the past two seasons has had more charisma mm. and just all around X Factor <laughs> than Alex has? That's I mean, a good seriously. Point. It's a good point. Seriously. It needs think, to be made. Yeah, think about everything that he's bringing to the table, right? Uh, super funny. Great social media presence. Great social media presence, that's right. Uh, killer dresser. Oh my god. His suit jackets have more charisma oh. than everyone that would be talked about for yeah. 2018 Bachelor. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Uh, and also, Stone Cold Stud, right? Uh, Stone yeah. Cold Stud. I mean, look, we called him B-minus John Hamm during the, uh, during the season, but hey. Yeah. If we're grading on a curve, yeah. that's pretty damn good. <laughs> that's right, John man. Hamm is like A-plus good looks. That's right, man. So I think he's doing pretty well. Yeah. I, it doesn't get much better than that. Seriously. All right, now I'm going to make a point that's a little bit more serious. Do, do, do. Okay. okay. Light's going down. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, I think it would be really interesting, as long as ABC doesn't go the route of having what they did with Lee dating Rachel, uh -huh. I think it would be really interesting to have the immigrant dating experience played out on a very American franchise. Yeah. More so because it's going to be, he is going to be the one driving the narration right. of the series. Right. He is going to be the primary perspective that we see this dating through. And I think it'd be really interesting to see that from an immigrant. Yeah, no, that, that that's a great point, man. And you bring up a good point too, that like, the Bachelor is the narrator of the season. Right. Right? Yeah. So you have to have somebody that has a good enough screen presence and is just an all-around good communicator to actually you know make the show right. interesting right. And, and what do we know about alex yeah he speaks two languages yeah that's like double the words to use <laughs> so he's exactly, twice man. the narrator that any other can, uh, candidate could can be exactly man and you know we bring up all the time too about his performance on ellen from uh, rachel season yeah but let's not forget i mean when you're the bachelor you are the face of a large franchise, yeah. and you're doing that kind of stuff all over. It's turned into this apparatus where they are promoting it the way that people promote like $100, $200 million movies. Yes, yeah, yeah, seriously. You gotta be able to bring it on Ellen or late night shows. Yeah, you, know? I, you want somebody to go on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon and friggin' like lip sync battle with Jimmy yeah. Fallon. <laughs> now, yeah. who could do that better than Alex? Uh, not Peter. That, <laughs> Peter, that's for sure. Peter dude. would do like an excerpt from like an audiobook on like self motivation <laughs> or something. Right, and unfortunately, I mean, we recognize like Peter, probably the front runner to be yeah, Bachelor. Yeah, no, seriously. So, <laughs> this is like a pro ad yeah. for Alex right now. The one that is like the, the the negative campaign ad slamming Peter, yeah, that's coming. <laughs> so there you have the official Two Roses to Brick Bachelor 2018 endorsement. Uh, if we have persuaded you to punch your ticket for Alex, here is what you can do. Now, 
We are wizards at social media. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. I think all 214 of our followers know that by now. They would agree, for uh, sure. So I'm sure the idea of getting reposted by Two Bros of Sabrina <laughs> is a huge incentive. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you guys comment on the latest Bachelor post on their official Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, state your case in there for why you think Alex should be the Bachelor, mm -hmm. and we are going to repost some of our favorites. That's right. You're going to get on the radar of 214 <laughs> people. Yeah. What a huge score. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? That's right. And if you don't have Instagram, you can go ahead and just send a good old fashioned letter to ABC, oh, right? God, we're huge mainstream media guys. That's so right. Get, go right to, <laughs> right to the friggin' post office and drop it in there, and uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll find a way to... I don't know what we're going to do with that, <laughs> but do that and, and shout us out. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you can get creative, figure out a way, because we want a good season of Bachelor so that we can give you quality, quality recaps. Exactly. Right? Now, you might have too many resources on your hand. <laughs> now, that that is a problem for some of the mega rich donors that we see in political campaigns, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we are going to set up a fund uh, via our donate button in, our <laughs> in the description page of our yeah. show. Yeah. And if you don't have Instagram or you don't know how to mobilize yourself quite right and you trust us to mobilize effectively, just hit that donate button. Send us a couple bucks. That's right. It definitely is not going to our bank accounts. It's yeah. not going towards our Red Bull budget. No. Uh, it's definitely not going towards a uh, friggin' like a pizza at 1 a.m. on Saturdays. <laughs> it's not going to that. Going directly to the campaign. <laughs> it's baby. going to fundraisers. That's right. We're gonna take your money. And we're going to make money. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're, we're right back into the economy. We're like the Wolf of Wall Street with super PACs. That's, <laughs> That's right, man. Uh, so go out and vote, right? Get out and vote. Rock the vote, baby. Rock the vote, baby. Uh, we'll see you all at the polling box. <laughs> Have you ever voted before in your life? <laughs> no. <laughs>